Today, we're playing Callista and Mordekaiser. I went undefeated with the Sprint Deck deck because the synergy in this deck is simply beautiful. We're using cards to buff up our deck like Glacial Saurian and Brevna, which we can give Deathless by using the Legion of the Severed. And once Mordekaiser comes down, our entire deck becomes huge, turning every unit into a Titanic unit, which makes the Deathgrass Cultist activate on every unit we play, completely removing the attack of our opponent's unit. Remember Aatrox? Yeah, this is him now. Playing this is absolutely incredible and one of the best performing brews I've posted on YouTube this expansion. But before we continue with the Rune Terror gameplay, this video is sponsored by War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. With more than 2,000 playable tanks, planes, helicopters and ships in dynamic combined arms PvP battles. With an in-depth customization system for vehicles, you can apply hundreds of types of camouflages, place his historical markings anywhere on your machines, as well as 3D decorators such as bushes and equipment. This creates an environment you can fully immerse yourself in, combined with the incredible graphics and detail in 4K resolution, with authentic sound effects and beautiful music. What I found most impressive and helped me immerse myself into the world of War Thunder was the incredible detail on vehicles, combined with the impressive fire, smoke and destruction effects. And War Thunder just released a new air superior update, allowing you to fly the legendary F-15, Su-27 and JAS-39 Gripen in intense dogfights over active volcanoes. So make sure to download War Thunder right now on Xbox, PC and PlayStation using my link below and get a large bonus pack for a limited time only with multiple premium vehicles, premium account, an exclusive 3D decorator for your vehicles and much more. And now let's get back to some Rune Terra gameplay. The Evelyn Ooh emote? I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if that's the best emote of the past. I, I personally really like the Elder Dragon one. This one. Alright, that's a hand. Sure. Uh, but we'll, we'll figure out how to play this on the go, right? This might be a, a pretty, like, baseline hand where we're just doing some buffing, getting some card draw later. I like the Ash one. The Ash one is also really good, yeah. I think all of them are bangers, honestly. I can't think of one I don't like. <laughs> okay, um... So they're gonna go pretty galactic with stats. And then they have... And then they have Elder Dragon to free win. Yeah, we gotta keep these birds alive for the Glacial Saurian. Oh, hello. Have you done Thrash Hold of the Great? What the hell is that? Oh, oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> terror, I, I, is, does Terror work with Ash? I heard it was bugged or something. So one big Kalista. Yeah, this is a chonker. And then uh Mordekaiser's Titanic. We're, we're definitely playing for value and we don't have Refna. So it's not like all grade. Next turn we could do this. Like our our deck is pretty uh pretty stacked. Resummoning discard with Mordekaiser is also not bad at all. I think this deck makes a lot more sense than we originally thought. I'm very happy to have Mordekaiser because of his champion spell. Yeah. Their stats are going to be bigger a little bit earlier. We outscale pretty hard. We do. You're playing Buried? That actually, like, just does not change anything at all. Does it? I don't think it does. Is Dan on a second account? <laughs> To kill this though. I'm, I'm gonna have to use Death's Grasp on this. This is too dangerous. Yeah. So, 
<laughs> we get more buffs, more draw. Huh? No, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not unhappy about that, dude. That's pretty nice. Hey, my bird. Wait. Now we level Callista. Wait, what's going on here? <laughs> we draw like a million cards here too? Oh my god. I am not done with you. <laughs> Good attack for- oh, I could have actually, yeah. I, I think I missed some damage there, I did. And there's Revna. Okay, so if we don't die here this turn, we just go Galactic next turn. Yeah, this is, that's fine, right? I don't care. Callista brings back another Glacial. Did we just win? <laughs> I don't know. I think we... Do we attack first? I've kind of just played like a, a 6... 7. I, no, I think it's just Ravna, right? Because then this draws... Merry Christmas, my friend. Thank you for all your time. Oh, uh, this went on the stack real fast. Is it another berries? This feels like another berries. Maybe it's a... Uh, okay, that's fine. Yo, laddie! Merry Christmas, thank you for the 15 months. Appreciate it, buddy. Bark, bark. Bark. We have eight cards in hand. <laughs> Alright, so this draws us a card because we have, like, other... Yeah, okay, so this is a 9-9 nine, nine lifesteal now. Cool, cool, we'll take that. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. <laughs> this is lethal, right? I think that's how it works. It takes damage for me, so this takes six. I'm almost I'm almost like a little bit disappointed that we have lethal here because we we kinda went galactic there. And with Mordecai, we were gonna go even galacticer, right? Huh. We have no mercy. GG. Bro, Dan, this is the third time, man. Come on. Like... Come on, dude. Alright. Guess we're playing against Dan for the third time today. In what, like two hours? Alright. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's Q-sniping. Dan doesn't look at the stream, though. He doesn't. I, hmm. That's a really good draw. Bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. This is this could be like really bad actually. If they have a form up. Yeah, I needed this this was that, that was a bad play, I think. Uh so when we played like this is the fourth time we're playing against this deck, right? Like let me make that very clear. Um It's probably safer to do it after, but then my dog dies. <laughs> that's not that's like that's why I did it there, because I didn't want my dog to die. Um but I, I, I needed this alive, because there was a pretty good chance that we wanted to play uh, this for a buff this turn. Now, if, 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 if my bird died plus this, it would have been bad for us. It oh. I mean, this one has Deathless, though. I'll take the Deathless one. It is very important that we go bigger with our stats in them, so we need to print heart. But they have Barry next turn, so, you know. Attack with Tutu? I don't really want to. I don't think it's even good if she dies for the first time. 
No, I don't know if next turn is even a Mordekaiser turn. I think next turn we have to play this and the 5-6. Uh, the play both Revnas that kill both. Yeah, it's. I was thinking about it, but it's... Uh, I don't have a one mana play, so I'm wasting mana. And I don't think this is good, because then I lose to a very nice even more. Oh, and uh, the Garen level up is another very good point. Yeah, we don't want to give him that. Okay, so berries. Okay, that's a really good draw. This is a really cool card to have, because if we like resummon the, the Revna, we draw a buffed card, right? I actually don't know what happens first. Ugh. No, I have to do this. I, I have to do this. I need cards. And I need to attack with Mordekaiser next turn. No, I can't play. I can't I can't play for greed here. I really can't. I I, I lose the game. Straight up. Because we know they have berries. Build a 5-2 for level progress. Wow. I mean, the thing is, if I kill this, it becomes a 4-2. And 5 is actually pretty good, like, breakpoint to block the Garen. Second history, take me to 27 months. I would like to keep this as a 5 to also have a, a Garen blocker. Why did we not just kill Revna? Well, with a hate spike. I, I, I'm just worried about the berry because that's like that's a signature move. Wait, more? I did. Uh, I killed one Revna that had Deathless. I am eternal. You are not. We, we shall not rest until all betrayers end. Yeah, we gotta we gotta trim this board here. You do not need to kill two units, I meant. Oh, you mean only one? Yeah, I could have done that. Okay, I probably have to just do this next turn, right? I think I still have to trim the board, like... I'll do this, just in case it's a buried. So if it's Warden now, we can use this, but if it's Buried, I, I like having uh, some stuff still here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's see. So we replace this, I guess. Should have started here, I guess. Didn't know if they were gonna open though. <laughs> yeah, the, everything is Titanic out, so this thing just kind of pops off. I, need, I, I still need to get rid of their board if I can. So we can have two Mordekaisers on the board. Get rid of that before it's Warden and they start rallying with Warden. I guess I could just ward on these two now, even if they become smaller. Father of horrors, look upon us! Take care, servant, of what you wish for. 
<laughs> this card is really funny, but your entire deck is Titanic. All right. Okay, freeze is good. So uh, buried is like killer, right? How do we beat buried? Do not oppose me. I'm just gonna block with Callista here just to not die. Yeah, I'll do this. Uh, because if they don't have a combat trick, I still want to kill their big overrun, dude. We don't take more damage from this. We have two mana. Two Mordecai here? Obliterate Weapon Master? I don't really have to until I'm, like, afraid of dying. Oh my god. Yellow. Real. Nah, that, that, we'll, we'll get rid of his equipment. That's, that's hilarious, actually. Look at this. <laughs> this card is sick. Who knew? <laughs> Alright, goodbye, Overwhelm. So you get your stuff back, we just killed a warden here. Crush and shatter. Let terror bind you. <laughs> Alright, I'm I'm having a good time here, chat. I'm having a pretty good time with this deck. <laughs> Alright, so every time we kill something bad, we heal for two. Yeah, we're, I think we're good here. I, I do really, like, I think when I play decks like this, I'm always way too afraid, by the way. Because I know my stats are bigger, so I try not to lose to, like, weird stuff. Nothing stops us. Not cold, not death. Was that, was that 21? I, I think I saw 21 attack somewhere. Oh, no. <laughs> There's the one. All right, why the hell not? One big unit every single turn. Come at me. Ah, that's pretty good. <laughs> we have three of them. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, terror. Just pure terror. GG. <laughs> you are now in my uh, nice. GG. I was not expecting that to be that hilarious. It's just pure taxation. Not oh, we played against something that isn't Barry's deck. No. Best of ten, you got seven matches left. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, Dad. Sure thing. All right, they play Kenny here. I don't hate passing turn one against Kenny. Oh, what they don't. You ever teach me? You just like you play your one drop, they play Kenny, and then you know. They get plus one for their mark. They discount their verbal and plaza. The dog. I'll see all this world has to offer. Merry Kerstmas! Merry Kerstmas to you too, Scroll. Have good. This is the heart of the forest. Well, that's a play. That is a play right there. Can I recall this? What's the point of having two Aries? This card is not that good. Like their champion spell, it's just not. Okay. Now you have two Aries. Sure. I 
thought I had more buffs from this. Nope. Denied! If I play one, if you could play with two Aries at once, I mean, are we talking about Rune Terra here still? Or are you just like fantasizing about what dream you had last night? Either way, can't blame you. Oh, challenge is really good. Okay, yeah, we got some stats going on here. All right. The forest and I are one. Cool. Yeah, that's a five-five Omanok. I uh, will take it. <laughs> I think we're doing all right here again, bro. This deck actually goes galactic really fast. J just like just printing like this type of stuff is better than it thought it would be. Yeah. All right. GG. <laughs> All right, I I don't really think that we made a deck that is like not half bad. Uh, might need to optimize it somehow, but it's it's like I don't know. It feels like it has answers. I feel like it does things, which isn't something I can say about all of the decks I make. Thank Ikut. you for a great year with great content. Wish in this next year all your plans come true. Love you all. Like for the six months, and yes, absolutely they will. I have a lot of very cool stuff planned. There there there's actually a. Uh, Bit of a return of scripted videos coming very soon. I have at least two planned. And if they do well, there will obviously be more. Buried with a couple of freezes could make this deck more optimized for climbing. Yes, but I don't really like playing buried. I, I, I think Soul Cleave would be hilarious, but it would make the deck worse. Besides Rune Terror, what are you up to in life? I just came back from a weekend in Dusseldorf. Me and my girlfriend went to the Christmas market there, and it was a fantastic time. A lot of uh, glue wine, which, by the way, disgusting. I don't know how anyone can like glue wine. Not, not good. It's bad. It's just not good. Uh, also, a lot of bratwurst. Those are pretty good. Oh, yeah. I should have done this first. Glue, yeah, it's uh, no, it's it's not. I don't think it's glue, like actual glue. It's called glue wine. Excuse me, glue wine is decent. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. You type it glue, and there's like two dots on the U. I think it's it's it, it tastes like. Um, so here, here's how I kept explaining it. I kept calling it um, microwaved red wine. That's what it tastes like. It's like it's like warm wine. You have to imagine that we're on a Christmas market. There's like little stands literally everywhere, and then half of those sell that warm red wine. Generally, like, stat decks do really well against uh, Aatrox, but they have a Morgana, so I don't know if that changes anything. Maybe it's an acquired taste. I don't even think it is, because those stands are literally everywhere in Germany on the Christmas market. Everywhere. We, there were, like, these market stands, and you could, like, look at the top of those market stands, what number they had. To kind of give an indication of how many market stands were there in total, and they went up to 300. There, there were probably more than 300 in the entire city. Um, and half of those, it felt like, were selling glue wine. You cannot break a shattered soul. They give you like uh, this glass bottle. So you had to, to bring back the glass to get some of your money back because you overpay for it. So I, we, we like walked with the glass a little bit, had three sips, and then I just <laughs> threw it out and brought the glass back to get my money back. Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't like it. It wasn't for me, man. I don't I don't really drink. So that might be uh, part of the reason why. That's a pretty clever open attack for them. Hmm. Do not oppose me. I, I'm just going to have to block. If we play Mordekaiser there, we would get our units back to block. 
So it's it's smart that they open attack there. This is usually how these matchups go, where um, if you're playing like a big stat deck, you eventually beat Aatrox, but you need your HP to be pretty low before you get to set up all your stuff that you want. What are they cooking here? What is bro cooking? How does uh, how does Mordecai work here? Does anyone know? If we kill the six seven first and then Callista, is Callista leveled? I would assume she is. We believe so. Only war can bring me peace. Yes. Okay. Then we'll do that. He kills from left to right, so it doesn't work. For science, I guess. Well, now we know. It didn't work. He's at two again. All right, whatever. I, I I had to make that play anyway. I couldn't afford four mana to uncurse the uh, Callista. That's good to know, though. So wait. If we if we went into combat with them first and then play Mordekaiser, it would have worked. If you order them correctly, you can level her. Oh. What are you doing, QV? Merry Christmas. You have to attack to swap position. Okay, okay. Now I mean for science. Now we know. Now we know. That's good. Now she's small. She is, but I I I just can't afford that four mana. I really need this Mordekaiser on the board and then use stuff like Hate Spike to get my uh my units back to health. Have you ever played some Binding of Isaac? I played the first one, I think, when it came out a long, long time ago. I didn't really like it then. I'd be I'd be kind of like open to give it another shot. I think that was before I really got into roguelikes a lot. I love roguelikes now, but back in the day I didn't really understand their concept. You leave me do you still no actively play Risk of Rain 2 or Risk of Rain Returns? Not actively, but I do play when I get a shot. This is, like, a little bit risky, isn't it? I mean, yeah. You know. The thing is, if they, if they like, strike this, I'm in trouble. I think it's better to just do this. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to die to a single strike. If, if they have one single combat, it's, like, it's over. Such a weird turn. Oh, you get cursed when you're dead? I see. So familiar. If you like roguelikes, roguelike Rogue Legacy 2 is cool though. Uh I played that too. Didn't really love it. And I I don't know. It wasn't really my type of taste, I guess. I don't know. That's a little bit better. I am the world ender. You're Titanic. Okay, this being Titanic is actually ginormous. Because now we don't die to them like using single combat on the stack when they're attacking. Wait, actually huge. Oh my god. If you like Risk of Rain, you might want to try Gunfire Reborn. I heard a lot of good things about that, yeah. I will actually have to try that. So, if we kill this off, Mordekaiser levels. You have Regen, though. What does this bring back, even? I will revive Legion of the Severed. Four, eight, 12, 15, 19. This is 19 damage. <laughs> it's a zero. 
Uh, what darkin man? Who is this? <laughs> uh, oh, that's really funny. I like that. God damn. How can I forget the names of my kin? <laughs> Return to my If there's a lethal angle, I don't see it. I mean, it's like maybe here? This is the lethal angle. I am eternal. You are not. Alright. <laughs> oh man, that's really funny. It must be a strike, but we have a sky splitter. Like, they can't use Aatrox, right? Oh my god, man, that's so ridiculous. What the hell? Even in death, your spirit is mine. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm having a good time here, dude. You, you, you like, buff a couple units into Titanic and this card just shuts down the opponent entirely? My god. Cooked so hard here. GG. <laughs> because that is a Noxus card. So I, I'm not so sure if we can do that. I want to keep Revna. Get the stats that we need. They have a lot of stuns though, don't they? Okay, this is for the temple. Is that as I know? I'm pretty sure Blade Pierce Revenant is Noxus. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100%, but I, I think it's Noxus. The hell is that ooh emo, man? Get it out of here. Don't ooh woo me. It's an awesome day for progress. Bark bark. They run one Celestial Wonder and two Cosmic Bindings besides the Morgana spell. Okay. I mean, two stuns, that's that's not going to cut it. They're going to need more than two stuns. Does Wormless Call really do anything in his deck? Yeah, I mean... At some point, our stats are going to be so big that one Warmer's Call will just consistently summon like 10 tens every turn. Starboy! Thank you for the Prime Sub. The Death Grasp Cultist isn't a Cultist. Alright, somebody contact Riot. Sun, run, bun. Doesn't have to rhyme. Hi, I'm a French viewer. I love watching your videos in France. There are no YouTube streamers on Runeterra. I think, uh, there's a Belgian streamer called Ultraman. I don't know how active he is, but... I believe he does mostly French content. Ultraman? No, I said Belgian, right? I started with that. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Speaks French, no? He speaks French? I mean, I said a Belgian content creator. I, I literally called it. What do you mean? Don't, don't correct me when I'm right. You're wrong. <laughs> I mean, this is good, right? Callista like, levels at some point. Possible. Hi, I'm a French viewer. I love watching your videos in France. There are no YouTube streamers on Room Town. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, that's not wrong about that. Okay, Warbrunner's Call is a one-up in this deck. No, I mean, I, I just specified that I think there was a Belgian content creator that does content in French. I don't, I don't actually know, like... I don't think I know any real French content creators. I mean, I might know them or heard of them, but I don't know if there's, like, French... speaking? It actually sucks that the dog died, by the way. If the dog didn't die, Revenant would be the biggest. Oh. I, I, I was strictly thinking like French speaking content creators. Changing the LOR's language for stream could be kind of fun. Oh, you want me to, to play my cards in French? <laughs> in my curse. 
Okay, I block with my bird and level my Callista. Deal. Would you ever do a stream in Dutch for the funsies? I play two games in Dutch. It's on the Sunny TV channel. Ah, oh, cool. Playing French. <laughs> Is that... I don't know if that's something you want. <laughs> I think I, uh, I want to set up for the warm waters. I mean, that's fine. That's Seraphine's card. Oh, wait, they could play at uh, a temple now. That was pretty smart, actually, if they played temple here. Oh, maybe I should let that go. I should have given that more thought. I should have. I'm new to your Twitch content, but I already love your content. Merry Christmas from Italy. Hey, Merry Christmas to you too. Thank you for the support. I just realized Suppression is the ultimate Fist counter. Not really, because Fist can just play Suppression to activate. I mean, unless you're just talking about the Fizz effect. But yeah, if you want to give Fizz elusive, just play Suppression once. If you're playing Black Flame Suppression, then yeah, that's pretty great. I could have done that later. Oops. Are you prepared? I'm, I, I just want to set up for the warm rose call because I think it wins us the game. We're at 20 HP. We have one Revenant played. All right, let's see. I, I, I took a bit of an L that last turn, just to make sure I had enough mana for the Warmoth's Call. When are you doing a Lethal Company stream? I don't know if or when I'm streaming it, but if you ever want to play QV, I you can always DM me. I, I love Lethal Company. It's so funny. Honestly, one of, the, one of the best games I've played in 2023. Like, queuing up Lethal Company for the first time is magical, man. Not having any idea what the hell is going on. <laughs> Getting jump scared left and right. I am your darkness. I am your truth. Do I care? Oh, think I gotta be. It's minus twelve. Nah, I don't care. Feel my pain. Bonus trying to be fancy. I don't care. The spider incident. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the spider incident is a thing that happened. There we go. We should play for you. Yeah, I'm 100% down. 100%. Do you think a pro competitive proliferating dark raid deck could be made? Competitive? No. Playable? Yeah. There's got to be like Celestial Wonder, right? I really like this deck. I don't think it's like incredible. Or OP or anything, but the synergy between the cart is really, really fun. Yeah, it's a small dog, yeah. And maybe... Oh, but it gave up. Oh. We, we have no mercy. GG. Where's the zero LP police when you need them? I'm already a master. I don't know. You can't hurt me anymore. I climb with Talia Melfi today. Does great against all the Shivana stuff. It does, yes. When there's a lot of mid range, just play Melfi Talia. And don't forget to draw the right card. That's also pretty good. Alright, just gonna beat them at their own game, right? Bird into dog. You're getting out of Dan's reach. <laughs> Oh no, we're too high to be buried. Okay. It's 
see what they play first, I guess. Okay. So the question. I want to cook a Mork Udir deck. Should I go Demacia for Strikes and Catalyst or Targon for Heal and Spell Shields? Uh, Demacia. If you're just looking to make the deck better, I think uh, Demacia should be your go-to. All right, let me see if uh, if my top deck Sky Splitter is better than yours, buddy. Hold on, hold on while I Sky Split you. What do you think? Was mine better? I think mine was better. <laughs> Slightly better. <laughs> Holy potato! They were the 16 months. Thank you, buddy. Oh, okay. Okay, chat. Our opponent is Diamond One. Do we do we give them a Christmas present by just handing them the win? Serious question. Diamond One and it's Christmas. Or are we grinching it up? No, no. Okay, uh, that's okay. That's a lot of no's. Okay, okay, okay. Not to Darius Nar. Hell no. <laughs> they played it bad. All right. Yeah, competitive integrity and all. Okay, fine, fine. And war. Gotta be deserved. That's that's fair. That's a good point. The real gift is the satisfaction of earning a win. You're you're absolutely not wrong on that. We, oh my god, that's okay. But I I I kind of feel bad though. Like, dude. <laughs> They, they got nothing. They got absolutely nothing. All right. What deck is this even? What, the one they're playing? You didn't have to emote him that stock. They emoted me first, man. Get real. Bro, I love this card so much. I this card is so perfect in this deck, Loki. Not even Loki. It's high key amazing. Right, yeah, I I don't know, man. That was that was a game right there. Whew. Giving Deathless should be illegal. It's so fun though. It is such a fun card. Hey, Merry Christmas, Grappler. Merry Christmas, buddy. Hope you're doing well today. Mr. Sunny got a Christmas hat. If yes, wear it. I don't have a Christmas hat. I have something else, though. If I can find it. All right, here's my, uh, my, my reindeer thing. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> That's what I got. Christmas, I have my Christmas socks on, yeah. Christmas socks are on, hold on. It's, it's kind of hard to see, but there is like a, uh, a little snowman right here. But it's upside down. Yeah, see, you can kind of see it, right? You, you can see it. <laughs> we need to keep the dog safe until turn five for the Saurian. What does it say? Nothing. It's it, happy socks. Yeah, I always wear happy. Oh, on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, happy socks. It's happy socks. Oh, come on. That's actually bad because of the Saurian. Why would they do that? I already attacked with it anyway. How do I join in Discord server? Does the link below work? I also have a link on YouTube in the description, I believe. We, we shall not rest 
Was that feed showcase a Christmas gift for chat, perhaps? Enjoy, chat. Enjoy. My gift to you. Ugh, that's kind of lame, dude. You have a Discord? Yeah, pretty active one, too. Uh, speaking of which, you cannot break there will be an announcement on Tuesday for a custom card contest. And I'll probably gift like a um, an event pass to the winner or something. And Tuesday, mate. Tuesday, in it. Okay. Um. Yeah. There you go. That's fine. So we have you, and then we have Mordekaiser, and then we gotta try not to get like completely blasted by their Mordekaiser. You shall fall, then you shall serve. Ravna printer? Yeah, I mean, we print more than just Ravna. There's a lot of printing going on here. Are you level? You're not level. <laughs> I love this card, man. I, I can't tell you guys how much I love this card. I think it's Vengeance here. You will oh, that's actually, that's not good, is it? Is it? Oh. Oh. Oh! Wait. It worked. We had a full hand this time. Okay. I mean, we have answers, so it shouldn't really matter that much. Yeah, we had the full hand this Okay, that's completely... Like, that doesn't matter. We burnt that. I'm kind of hoping to draw the War Mother. I feel like War Mother is, uh, is what wins this matchup. Your road is laid out, sire, paved in bone. Anyone gathered here is an enemy of the crowd. <laughs> okay, you do have Deathless. If the answer is fine. Okay, that's all right. Is our hand full again? No. I don't really care. Like, our stats are big enough to hopefully win this way. Morgana attacks, this gets hit. Nah, we're good. Do I even care about the Morgana at this point? I think I don't care about Morgana being alive, because all our units are so big, I'd rather kill this, so it doesn't get printed by Mordecai, is right? So, yeah, I think that's my play. Our deck is all Titanic. Oh, yep, that's why this card is in there. This card does some work, man. Look at this. Oh, wait, this procs off itself. Wait, I just realized. That's why it was minus four. Because this is a 9-9. Nine -nine. This is Titanic, so it proc twice here. <laughs> Bro, I love this deck. What's going on? It says or, but then how did it get minus four? There can be no Only Again, I don't care if this is interrupted at all. If they have another hate spike, good for them. Yeah, don't care. Our deck is big enough. Next turn, if they try to do something, we'll just use Mordekaiser's uh, Death Realm. Oh. Okay, that might not be good. What the hell? Is when did they play that card? I actually don't know what they get back either. Oh, that's bad. That is not good. Now, this is a one of in their deck. I should have played around it though, probably. This world must die. Okay. 
we can we can deal with it. They should attack with Morgana, I think. If they attack with Morgana, this would have been a different story. You go to seven. So uh, these two cars can kill here. Might need to. I will get yeah, if they attack with Morg, I think this would have been like close to game. Did you see new Hunger Games? I did, yes, I did see new Hunger Games. I actually saw it on the day before the LCQ. Instead of practicing, I just decided that, uh, hey, let's let's go to the cinema. <laughs> Eleven. Uh, I don't know, are we in a good spot? It doesn't feel that good suddenly. Another Kalista. Raid a discard, okay. I really liked it. I, I thought it was probably the best one. But I also saw like the... I, I saw all Hunger Games for the first time like a month ago. So they were like... Some of them were a bit outdated, I guess. But yeah, I really liked it. Morgana's Dark Binding. I'm going all in here, right? With everything? Every mage must face their crimes. Last once again, which one is more annoying? I think this time it's Morgana. You must know me, little one. You must! Return to us. <laughs> they actually healed from that attack. Even in death, your spirit is mine. I am not done with you. I think we're good here. It's just a long game, but I think we're just chilling. Yeah, if we draw War Motor, it's into GG as soon as we rip it. Oh, I mean that also helps a lot. I, I, how do they win here, right? Like, uh, what what is their win con? The voices. The breath takes, the waters give. Eight mana, three cards. Get in there. Stops us, not cold, not death. <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. They didn't draw Mordekaiser. Do you think that's why they lost? Did they lose because they didn't draw Mordekaiser? I have found such beauty and mortality. All right. Oh no. Anyway. Beg for mercy. Share in my curse. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. All right. Let's just kill this thing. Get out of here. Leave my dog alone. I don't care. Okay, I'm, I was gonna say I don't care much about keeping the dog alive. I just really want to kill their their mate seeker in case it gets printed. But also, dog cute. There is that. Oops. Should have probably looked at that first. Oh.
Whatever, more value. I'm not complaining. Was it lethal? If I if I didn't attack with the dog, maybe. Kill the morgue? Was it lethal if we killed Morgana? I don't see it. This is lethal. Alright, get him. Yeah, the Brazil win, win con. Oh, Morgana life, so you're right. You're right. Yeah. Could have killed whatever was in front of her. Anyway, this is, this is a cooler way anyway. GG. No, I, I, I definitely... Uh, it's like I said earlier on when we started playing this deck. When I, when I have so much value that I'm working with, I tend to like just... Not see the bigger picture, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Can't this fizzle even if it did. We'd probably still win. We'd probably still be okay. Mr. Shifter, not a quitter, fighting for